Hey, it's Jeff Sauer here, representing PPC Course, and I want to answer a conversion tracking question for you. Now, it's not just any conversion tracking question. It's a very specific use case about tracking conversions when you don't have control of the website that you're sending somebody to. And this is something that comes up all the time. I get asked this question as much by people who are using AdWords as just about any other question that's out there. And I want to share with you the answer that I've found works best for tracking conversions when you don't have control over the website that you're tracking. And so if this sounds like you or it might be you someday, make sure to listen up because you're going to love this tracking tutorial. Let's go through some Google AdWords advanced conversion tracking scenarios. Of course, conversion tracking is fundamental to your online advertising success. I think everybody knows that by now. But if you don't track conversions, then you shouldn't bother advertising online. And I've shared several videos on Google AdWords conversion tracking. And if you haven't watched those videos yet, you might want to start with them and then come back and revisit this video. The first video that I want to share with you is the updates to conversion tracking in Google Tag Manager, some tracking updates that Google rolled out in 2017. And the other video is the right way to track conversions in Google AdWords. And this is just a nice self check to make sure that you're doing Google AdWords conversion tracking the right way. So in those videos, we've covered the basics, but sometimes the basics aren't enough. Sometimes we come across advanced scenarios where the standard tracking doesn't work, or we aren't sure if the tests that we're doing are working. So a PPC course student Shelly asks us, she created a tag and she tracked conversions whenever a user fills out a form. Now she put the code on the thank you page and then she tested the form herself. And when she went there, she couldn't see the conversion in the dashboard. She wants to know if she put the tag on the website in the right place. She put it in the body. She wants to know, did I put it in the right spot? Is there some kind of conflict with Google Analytics? Or is it just because the campaign is not enabled yet that that's the reason why it's not showing up? So the underlying question that Shelly has is, how can you be sure that your conversion tracking is working when you put it onto your website? Now, it's easy for me to say this to you that you should test it out or you can look at things, but I think it's much easier if we take a look at how this works on a live website. And the first thing that I'm going to show you is the tag manager account for PPC course. As you can see here, there's a conversion that is fired when somebody gets to a thank you page when a lead comes in. I've given it a conversion value of five, and then I have the label and conversion ID that are unique to my account. This happens every time that somebody gets to a thank you page. We should be able to see that this code is being fired. And so I'm going to go into my website now, and I'm going to trigger the action that fires this conversion code. And so here we are on PPC course. As you can see, we are on the free course page. This is where somebody becomes a lead for the free PPC mini course that we offer at ppccourse.com. Now, if you look up here, I have something enabled called Google Tag Assistant. And what it's telling me is that Google Analytics is firing properly, and so is Google Tag Manager. Now, these are the only Google tags that are firing on this page. But if I fill out this form here, you'll notice that another one gets put in. So I enter my details and I get the free seven day course. And assuming that everything works properly, we get put to our thank you page. Now on this thank you page, we have set it up so that our Google AdWords conversion tracking pixel fires here. Notice we have three tags that are showing up. And if we look in here, we see AdWords conversion tracking is fired. And it is the exact same pixel that we put onto our site. And essentially, we are confirming. And according to Google, they gave us a green light saying that our conversion tracking is firing properly. Now, the thing that you'll notice is that if you go into Google AdWords and just going from your landing page and filling this out, this will not register as a conversion in Google AdWords. That's because Google AdWords has an advanced matching algorithm that allows you to track whether that pixel was fired by a click in AdWords. So they will only report on the clicks that they sent themselves, and they will not give credit to conversions that did not happen through this method. Now, this is nice because you want to make sure that your conversion tracking is only fired by AdWords because you might get conversions from other avenues. You might use this landing page on your Facebook ads. You might use this organically, letting people come in from your main website. And you don't want to pollute your AdWords conversion tracking data with conversions that come in from other sources. So Google AdWords will automatically match your click data from AdWords to the people coming to this conversion page. And it only gives credit to the ones that are fired through AdWords. And that's how this works in a nutshell. As you can see, it's pretty straightforward. And I've learned that I can trust this data that comes from Tag Assistant over the years because it does exactly what I need it to do. 
And just so you know, Google Tag Assistant is a free extension that you can add to Chrome and you can use it to check all of your Google tags. We're gonna put a link to this in our video notes on YouTube as well as the accompanying blog post. So the short answer to Shelley's question is that conversions don't register if the campaign isn't live, but you can use things like Google Tag Assistant to give yourself comfort that you've got the right answer. And if you go to jefflytics.com slash tag assistant, that's a short link that's gonna bring you to the Google Chrome store where you can install Tag Assistant for yourself. And while we're at it in this video, there's another frequent scenario that comes up for people that wanna do advanced conversion tracking in Google AdWords. This is for people who want to track conversions, but they don't have control of the conversion page. This usually happens when you have third party conversion pages. Now I'm going to give you an example of what this might look like. Now here's my PPC course product page. Now what if my cart was hosted off site? I happen to host it on my own site, but what if this were hosted off site? If you click on add to cart, what would end up happening is you go to a third party site and you need to put in the conversion tracking in there. You need to make sure that your analytics are working properly. You need to do all the different steps we're talking about here, but you might not have control of this third party cart. Now, obviously this is not an ideal scenario where you don't have control of the page. And when you don't have control of the page that you're sending data to, you usually have two options. The first option is the nicest one, and that is where you can get some kind of access to this third party thank you page or to this third party shopping cart, and you can add your conversion pixel onto the thank you page. That is definitely the ideal scenario because if you can track this, then you are going to be able to get credit for what you're looking for. And this works well, but not everybody has access or the ability to add code to their third party carts. So there's a second option that is less than ideal, and that is to fire your conversion code on click from the button. When somebody clicks on that button, the add to cart button, you would need to fire your conversion code and keep track of it that way. This is a less ideal option, but sometimes it's the only way to get things done. Why is this less ideal? Because it's not the actual conversion that we're tracking. It's a fraction of the action. And you'll need to adjust the value of your conversion accordingly. The way that you do this is similar to choosing an implied goal value in your Google Analytics. Now, if you wanna know what an implied goal value is, then you can check out this post that we put on our Analytics course website, where we help you determine what your Google Analytics goal value is. You can use this exact framework to calculate the value of click-throughs from your AdWords ads as well. Now, the second reason why this is less than ideal is because it requires code. In order to get this to work, where you're gonna have the implied value clicked on an add to cart button, you are gonna to need to add code to your site or set up something in Google Tag Manager where you're looking at things like CSS selectors and whenever a button is clicked, then you trigger the event to send data into Google AdWords conversion tracking. And of course, I'm running out of time in this video. So if you want me to show you how to write this code and trigger things in GTM, then leave a comment on this video on YouTube or on the post on ppccourse.com. And if we get enough comments, I will create that tutorial for you. And of course, this video is brought to you by ppccourse.com. If you wanna learn the ins and outs of Google AdWords, head over to ppccourse.com to learn everything you need to know about Google AdWords. Mm -hmm.